Hi, I'm Mark Cullen with some tips on pruning the permanent plants in your garden. I call this discipline. Spring is a great time of year to prune out the winter damage that has occurred to either evergreens or deciduous plant material in your yard. Spring flowering shrubs should be pruned using a good sharp pair of hand pruners any time after they've flowered within about a six week period. That way you're not removing the flower buds for the next season. Summer flowering shrubs should be pruned in the fall or the early spring to encourage flowering the following season. You should prune them as aggressively as you like to get them under control, removing up to one third of the plant. Give them a nice shape, but don't give them a bowl cut. As far as evergreens are concerned, the ones that produce a candle in the spring, like spruce, fir, or pine, can be pruned as they're producing that candle by just simply cutting it in half. You can even pinch it with your thumb and your index finger. Or you can get in there and prune them more aggressively later in the season. Other evergreens like boxwood, junipers, cedars and the like can be pruned anytime through the summer or early fall for a really good looking plant that's going to thicken up as the season progresses. Hardwood shade trees like maple, oak and walnut and birch should be pruned while they're in full leaf, otherwise you're going to get excessive bleeding come spring. For fruit trees, prune apples, plum and cherries in the winter and prune apricots and peaches in early spring. Pears generally don't need pruning at all unless you need to prune them for shape or to get them under control, in which case you'll prune them in the winter as well. Visit homehardware.ca to get the full selection of great lawn and garden products at Home Hardware. And to get all the answers to your gardening questions, visit markcullen.com.